think he is. Come on. Where are you, doggy? Oh, he's already behind me. Holy balls. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is games for cakes and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 16, the last episode. We finished looting the pawn stop, uh, pawn stop, pawn shop, which is really awesome. There's still a locked uh, gun safe in there, which we can't open yet, so because we need higher tools, which we're gonna have soon, because we're gonna hopefully get a forge together very, very soon to start making some serious metal junk. Anyway, we're gonna continue looting a little bit in the area and then we're gonna have to get home because it's already 8 o'clock and at 10 o'clock the guys start running, so we're gonna have to get enough resources together so we can be productive during the night. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. We're gonna do the grocery store because I think food is a big problem for us right now. So let's do this. This is a locked door, so let's go through it. It doesn't really matter. Shit, it's a dog. Is that dog on the outside? <gasps> oh, got her. Nice. Oh, lovely. She has food on her. Is that dog on the inside? I think he is. Come on. Where are you, doggy? Oh, he's already behind me! Holy balls! Come on, switch weapons. There we go. Wow! That gave me a heart attack. I was like, I thought the dog was in the house! I was like, where is he? Why is it all of a sudden so quiet? <laughs> no, we have a boat. Balls! Okay, we better go and get the bomb because I want to get the actual leather from him so we can make uh, get enough leather together to make the forge. We have nearly enough leather. I have a bone here somewhere. There we go. Holy balls that gave me a heart attack. I can't believe that. Genie Mac. Oh, but that was good. Like, because I thought he was behind me. I don't know. Where, where was he? Was he actually in the back of the house or something and then decided to come around? Oh, man. We used up our last bandage as well. That sucks. Oh. I just thought I heard something else. No, 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 not, not, no more, no more, not more of those guys. We can make a level 100 one now, so let's do that. Bone shift, craft, level 100, is it? Yes, okay, good. Actually, we're going to put it here just in case we need it. Holy balls. Oh, no, it's gone. It doesn't matter. Wow! Okay, guys, that really was something. There we go, there's the big lady that won't sing. God. Oh, nice. I love it. Like a ninja. Look at that. Gunda. Dun, 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 <laughs> so it doesn't really matter if it's daytime or nighttime. Now, mind you, I don't know how real zombies actually work. Okay, I have no idea. But I would assume that this... Oh, nice. We got a hoe. We got a hoe. We got a hoe. We don't have to waste forged iron on that. We got a hoe. And we can plant seeds that give us bonus loot. That is awesome. Because you guys are saying, don't plant seeds if it's not a hoe. If it's not a hoe, if it's not a hoe, don't plant seeds in a hoe. That doesn't sound right. That sounds so many ways of wrong. Okay, so let's. Is the door open? No, it's not. Let's do that. Let's have a look inside here. Oh. Oh, I can see you. I can see you. Ah! Did you see that, though? Did you? Did you? Okay, good. These days you just don't know what's behind the corner. Now we're gonna loot these boxes like so, so we can see if somebody comes in. Because I don't want them to spawn a guy in right here now. Oh, he's still twitchy. He's still ding, 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 ding. There we go. Oh, nice. We got some meat. We got some, oh, that is lovely. I'm loving this. This is nice. Oh, I love it. Eat it. Gives us a little heat boost as well, as far as I know. And, oh, healing, nice. 
Gonna give me some healing. Blueberry pie healing. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now. Oh, that sounds like a dog. Okay. It's clear. Is the balcony clear? Balcony is clear. Clear, Alpha Tango Bravo. Balcony is clear. I think. Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing spawned sneakily in here now. No. Okay. Oh, nice. Get more food. This is lovely. I forget the grocery store because it just looks like a house. Nah. Nothing here. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Maybe if somebody wakes up, we have a little bit of action. Gonna have some action. Hello? Doesn't look like there's anybody home. No, I can't hear anything. Nope. Seems clear. It's a bit spoopy. Let's take these guys off. Nah, it's still not gonna make any light. Very good. Oh, okay, we're gonna take the bed apart because we're gonna get some springs for that, which are very good uh, source of iron as well. I found out they give like one gives like ten iron or something. So if we have a lot of them, we just put them into the forge, and that should be enough. There we go. Nobody there, because we want to make very sure. Is there any more springs coming out of the second stage of the bed? Actually, I don't think so. The first stage gave us how many springs? And I look at that now. Okay, three springs. That's not bad at all. And seeing that there are ten each. Okay, that's it. Nice. All right. That's the grocery store done, guys. Awesome. Now, the difficult task of deciding... Oh, excuse me. The difficult task of deciding what to take home. That's always a bit tricky. Is there any more dogs? Nope. Good. All right. We got a little bit of food, which is really nice. We're going to eat this. And... Oh. I could go into the bunker. Nah, it takes too long. We gotta need at least an iron axe to go into the bunker. There's another grocery store. Okay, I don't... Oh shit, it's already going 10 o'clock. I forgot we're on fast time. This is dangerous, guys. This is very dangerous. I can already hear fire, guys. This is very dangerous. I'm so stupid that I didn't look after myself. Now, I drank some beer, one of the beers, so hopefully we're not gonna get stunned. I don't think there's anything else we can take that's gonna make sure that we're okay. We're just gonna have to stay on the main road, I guess. That's all I can think of. I just really hope we're gonna be making it. We have to go home because we want to start looking into making a forge. And we have leather. We have 14. We need 20 leather. So a couple of animals, a couple of couches. Like So I'm assuming that once we get home, because our house is right here, that we're just gonna go through some of the houses, get some couches, and we're gonna be okay. But what I'm really worried about is that we have to go through here where there's loads of dogs that can spawn. So I'm not really sure. I want to kind of try to stay away from anything and anybody. Actually, let me just switch my... Oh, we have the gamma already at 150. So I think even if I turn the light off, you guys should be able to see okay. Because I might have to turn the light off when I get near the... Ah, balls. Okay, it's... it's oh, it's a pharaoh. Balls. Is that a pharaoh? I think so. Oh, he's running away. That that's what really scary now because I don't know if I can if I supposed to walk on or not. I don't know. Like is he coming back? No. Okay, he's 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 having sex with the wall over there. That's fine, but this is what is the scary part. It's the absolute stupidity of these pathing zombies. I mean, he saw me. I whacked him right in the face. I shot an arrow right, right in the face. He's right in front of me, and he decides to walk away. Now, how do I know that when I walk away, he doesn't turn around all of a sudden and follows me again? It just does not make sense. Okay, I think we're just going to have to lag it. Okay, there seems to be enough light here for you guys. This is creepy as balls. Oh, I'm gonna stay away from her. Oh, there's another guy. Okay, we're just gonna have to sneak through.
I swear, bird, don't test me. <laughs> Trying to sneak from the zombies here, you little bastard. What the hell is that? Is that from when I died before? No, that's a weathered backpack. Oh, actually, when you're crouched, he doesn't hit you. Oh, interesting. Okay, come on. I got gotcha. you. Okay, we're just gonna stay crouched and we're gonna walk slowly home. Um, yeah, if nothing interesting happens, I'm just gonna cut this out, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to leave it in because it would probably be interesting to you as well to see if you can actually sneak around like that while there's a lot of zombies in the middle of the night. So the stealth mechanic seems to work and somebody was suggesting that the stealth mechanic is the reason you uh, uh, the zombies are messed up because they somehow get booked out with the stealth mechanic as they're trying to calculate the path to you. So it seems that randomly they just can't see you. They go, oh no, he's stealth. He's like, can't see him, can't detect him. And then other times, you you know the way your icon is not, um, ah, damn it, I really would like the feathers though. Do I have room for feathers? No, I don't. Oh, holy balls, he gave me a heart attack, but he couldn't get me. That is oh, interesting. So can he, can he not get me at all? Wow, okay. Now we have meat already. What are we gonna get? Yeah, let's get rid of the coal. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the coal. And let's get the feathers. No, the feathers, you plank. Okay, that was absolute nonsense. What did I pick up? Stupid meat. And the feathers, I didn't. There we go. Nice. Ah, uh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're going the wrong way. Okay, let's turn the light on and let's keep running. Man, going out in the middle of the night like this is scary as balls when you can't really... When there's ferals. You see, I really love that some of these things are ferals now. Because they really give you a challenge. You kind of think, oh, maybe I shouldn't attack. Maybe I shouldn't attack. Because up to this uh, point now in Alpha 15, I just went like, oh, yeah, who cares? Like, you know, you hit them twice in the fourth phase, like in the down. So who gives a crap? And the ferals, you identified very easily, like, you know, because of the way they looked. But now that you have these random ferals amongst other people with their glowing eyes, you kind of go, you're not, excuse me, you're not sure what they are. And probably only when it's too late, you look at them going, balls, this actually is a feral. So let's turn the light off. There's another one over there. I don't know if you can see me or not, but it doesn't look like it. But again, the stealth seems to be a little bit wonky because sometimes you're crouched and the icon says you're not detected. Well, you shouldn't rely on an icon ever anyway, but the icon says you're not detected. That's wind. And um, you kind of rely on it a little bit. And then all of a sudden, a zombie is coming right for you. And it's like, but the icon says no. Why can't the zombie read? <laughs> it's like, the icon says no. Okay, I think we're pretty safe here. Because we already cleared out everything here. So we're okay. This house, we're going to have to get into in the morning. Because I think that's where we're going to find some leather. Oh, stones. Nice. Let's see if we need any more to make um There we go. There's our ladder. Nice. <laughs> it's my little ladder baby and we made it. Nice. Oh, nothing spawning here, I tell you. You better not be messing around with me spawning crap right in the middle here. That would be very scary. All right, I think we have enough leather. Yes, we can make a bellow, my friends. We can make a bellows. We can make a handlebars? Since when do we know how to make handlebars? When do we pick that book up? Oh, it's a common part for chains on. Oh, okay, that's why it's... Oh, it's common. All right. But I think we can't make a chassis, though. Chassis is like we have to actually read the book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what we might have to do is go over to the city in the construction area to get a lot of those construction boys because they drop all the parts for a mini bike. So we could be lucky getting a mini bike before we get the book. We got everything sorted out. Now I moved everything from here to here because I wanted to be not having something on the outside walls because I'm going to open them all up. Well, most of them. We got to open all of them up and with some load bearings in between so that we can see where things are coming from. And it was also going to keep us busy during the night when we get out at night. But tonight I was focusing on getting everything moved over. So we have a little bit of stuff in here now. I already made some forged iron. We probably need to get more clay and iron to make an anvil. Um, yeah, we don't have enough. But I made my... Where's my tool? Where did I put it? Where is it? 
Oh, I'm still crafting it. Okay, so we can now go. We can now go out and actually pick up all the seeds and get our own. We also need to drink balls. I completely forgot. Okay, so let's drink. And I think we can make some boiled eggs as well. That definitely will sort out some of the hunger issues, though. There we go. Nice. Okay, so boiled eggs. Absolutely. Nice. Okay, we're gonna eat some nice boiled meat. Very lovely. Gives us a lot of wellness back as well. Wellness back as well. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Shit, I never turned on my timer balls. And um, yeah, we're gonna make the boiled eggs. Look at that. Four for 32. This is very good. Now, what we definitely need to do now is we need to grind out for materials. Okay, and this is why I'm glad that I make myself this little guy. And once we have enough iron, there's a lot of rocks around here. I mean, look at this. There's loads of rocks here. Like, so we actually should be really good. And then we're going to go through the desert. We're going to make some more health kits or whatever they're called. And we're going to get some leather. We don't need any leather right now. So what we want to do is we want to make a lot of cobblestone rocks. So we need to get, I need to get a shovel together as well. Balls, I don't have anything on me. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Let's just get one tree down. Let's get a little bit more wood. And then we're going to go off, grind some stone. Do we have some plant fibers on us? No, not at all. Okay, so let's just get some plant fibers as well. And then we can make ourselves a stone shovel, which is very, very good. And, ah, what are we short? What are we short? Stone, of course. Where's my stone? Okay, I'm just going to, oh, there's another one here. Let's get that tray and then let's go over to the stone. So we are going to start working on what our first Hortonite defense is going to be. And then we're going to continue looting after we have set up our food. So I just want to get a shovel together. Is there any more stone here? No, 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 no. There we go. Where did I put my farm? Did I not put something out here somewhere? I thought I did. I'm getting confused now between all the different types of games I'm playing. We have the stream, which I only just started in your world. Um, then we have the Nomad series, which had a, world, a new world started. And we're kind of doing the same thing, in a way, on all of them. So I actually don't remember where I put my farm here. Did I already put some things down? I don't remember. I don't remember at all. Did I put it down here? No? Okay, I have no clue. I don't even remember where I put things down. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all whatsoever because we're going to put some new stuff down now and the other stuff was not giving us any profit um, or gain anyway, so which is fine. So we're going to put... Oh, yes, we finally have... Do, can, do we already have a minor 69er? Yes, baby. Bam! Right in the foreface. And then do we have Sexy Saurus? And Sexy Saurus. Oh, we're six points. We're four points short of Sexy Saurus. Ah. Now, somebody was saying that the. You can see I get like three stone. That the stamina system now also gives you less resources. It's kind of a bit crap because. The, the whole beginning of the game has been slowed down dramatically. Now, slowing down by means of unlocking perks and by upgrading, that's fine. You know, like you have to do upgrade to iron or whatever, that's fine. But if you slow it down by giving me only one of each instead of three of each, for example, because I have low stamina and I'm just going to have to sit here nonstop and make sure I don't drink too much or I have to wait for that. That is slowing down, in my opinion, the wrong way. That is a pain in the ass um, in, in most cases, in, in most games, in all games that do it. It's I don't I don't enjoy that because that means, OK, I'm going to sit here and I'll do nothing just to wait for stamina. That is not pro that is not progress. I mean, what can I do in the meantime while my stamina goes up? Nothing. Because every action I do costs stamina. So if I want to go and chop a tree in the meantime, can't because it costs stamina. So the having to wait between stamina refills is redundant weight in my opinion. It's just redundant. So I think the stamina shouldn't go down as much from tools that it should go down from weapons. With weapons I can understand, like, I don't know. There's both, there's arguments on both sides, I suppose. So there we go, there's another point. Excellent, sexy Saurus Rex, stamina gain, boom. Finally, so hopefully we're gonna get to a point now where our stamina nearly goes back to what it was. Oh my lord. And um, when we level up mining I wonder let me see here block damage and stamina degradation very nice So what we want is definitely focus on minor 69er and sexy Saurus Rex That's definitely two things we want to focus on if we want to continuously um, uh, Gather resources in the beginning 
Because look at this, now I get two stone each hit. And if I, my stamina goes down, now you see that? I'm now down to one, two, one. Oh, there's three, there's a rare three. So it seems that it's more common to get more than one when you actually have full stamina. That's what I was told anyway. And if that is the case, I don't think it's the right way of slowing down the start of your game. It should be more, make it harder to obtain certain tools and let me use lower level tools for longer. But at least with the lower level tools as well, don't be punishing me, don't be punishing me for stamina that much. Because you need to progress. It's the building. Building is a huge part of this game and gathering resources. So it has to be fun as well as um, obviously balanced with realism, whatever you want to call it. So it has to be a fine balance. In the moment, I think the stamina degradation is a little too much. Not for melee weapons though, mind you. That's that's right, melee weapons should be really tough. You need Pommel Peach, you need all that stuff, I can understand that. Okay, I think there's something weird. Okay, we have 54, let's put one here. No, just one. So everything we collect now goes in here. Now we have one clay. Okay, so deduct one when we finish. Now with the shovel, I'm going to destroy one block of clay on full health, on full stamina. So we got 23 for that. Now, let me use the hoe, which is 66 only, and it's already, uh, it's already destroyed uh, a little bit. Thirty-one. Why bother with a shovel? Well, I'm pretty sure when it's not uh, what you call a clay, and it's actually whatever a shovel can do, you will get more from a shovel. But that is interesting. That is sixty-six. Bro half broken. Okay, it's obviously hitting two blocks. Half broken uh, hoe gets more clay than. Yeah, look there again, 32, 32. So we seem to be getting more clay from using a hoe, which is very interesting. And this is a level 100 against a level 66. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing some grinding more, uh, guys, and we're gonna put a farm down soon. I'm gonna leave this episode here, so we were very lucky to get through the night, and I'm really lucky that the uh, th that feral actually skedaddled because I don't know if I would have survived that, to be honest, because they're pretty fast. I think they're much faster running forward than the other zombies. So that could have been very, very sketchy. But at the same time, I'm I'm not happy that he actually just gave up and walked away. <laughs> that was kind of a bit weird. But um, I'm, I'm sure it's something that they're looking after, like, so it's not something to worry about too much. We're gonna have a patch fixing that soon, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you guys still enjoyed the episode, even though it was only a little bit of looting and more running around and talking. But um, either way, if you did enjoy it, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Okay, so let's do this. There we go, a nice half stone. Could have used full stone, but felt like half stone. Not sure why. Just did. <laughs> so let's build all this around. Nice. Very lovely. Have a little bit of a garden area. There we go. Nice. I tried other things on the side, but on the corners, but nothing really works that it could be flush because um, the fences don't go into the middle. It would have been nice if they would. Could have used half blocks, like, going sideways. Oh, we still could have actually used half blocks going sideways now that I think about it. Yeah, could have done that like this. I think they go side. Yeah. Yeah, we could have used them like that. Oh, that would have been nice. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're going to now put them down instead, like that. And will we? No, actually we won't. We leave them exactly like that. We leave it like that. Now let's get the hole. 
There we go. Lovely. And by the way, the hoe also gets you about 12 dirt at this level per block. Meanwhile, the shovel only gets you six or seven. I was just about to say there was definitely one or two pieces missed. Holy balls. Okay, I think that's it. Nah, whoa, wow. So you do and it undoes, interesting. All right, okay, so that is all hold. Now let's put down coffee. We definitely need some coffee because that will be, I think, our drink for stamina. So we definitely want to get coffee down. I'm just gonna put the cotton down, why not? There we go. And chrysanthemum seeds, just cause we have them and they're there. We should be able to place them there in the corner. That is, okay, that, that was weird. I don't know why some of them are triangular or not, but that one is a nice square block. But uh, some of the other seeds are really triangular, which is really weird. I don't think we need cotton seeds, but hey ho, we have nothing else, so we might as well. You see, they're, 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 they're going in a, in a diamond shape. That is really weird. Anyway, there you go. You can put one left and one right. Lovely. Our own little garden. <laughs> nice.